Richard Griever's fear of taking transit has grown in recent weeks. Before I wouldn't have paid any attention to anybody, but now suddenly I'm like, I feel like I need to look at somebody, just like, are, like, am I safe with you around me sort of thing. He wants to see more police on transit. Uh, have an officer on there just in case every now and then. I think that would help me feel a bit better. Over the last few months, there have been multiple assaults and stabbings on transit systems in major Canadian cities, some fatal. Violence has absolutely no place in Canada's transit systems. Now a safety task force made up of transit operators is calling for action, including hiring more security officers and making them more visible on transit. We also need to ensure that regulations and bylaws are in place that give police officers or special constables the ability to curb dangerous and unlawful behavior. Transit enforcement has been stepped up in cities hit by violence, but for frontline workers, it's still not enough to make them feel safe. Uh, but actions speak louder than words, and there's no time to waste in getting everyone around the table as soon as possible, because this is a crisis. The task force also says governments on all levels need to do more to address issues like homelessness, substance abuse and mental health. A stranger came and she hit me on the head with a bottle. Uh, it required, you know, stitches. Four months ago, Julia Ratty was randomly attacked on Toronto's subway. She says just adding more police won't solve the problem. I think the attacks on, on transit are very much a symptom of a larger sort of social problem. And so when we can take a longer view and see if we can help our fellow citizens, then we do better going forward. Riders and staff all on board for change with the growing push to tackle violence and make commuting safer. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.